So I managed to shatter the glass in it and rip through the polymer and basically just completely throw away a week's worth of work. Hey guys, Zol here, and I kind of wanted to make this more candid video about some stuff that happened to me in the lab in the past couple weeks, and I think this is a really important story because I have been getting a lot of comments recently about people who don't have any lab experience or they haven't taken a lot of chem classes and they're sort of afraid to go into research because they think they're going to mess something up and ruin something in these big expensive research labs that professors invite them into, but this is just how science goes. So with that, let's hop right into it. So first, a bit of context for the research lab I work in. It's actually not a chemistry lab, it's a materials engineering lab, and so we get physics, bio, chem majors all working on making cool materials with interesting properties that can be really helpful and have practical applications. And for this current research project I'm working on, we're trying to make a certain material that really requires a nanostructure created on it. And this means you have to be super careful with everything because if you don't know, if you're making stuff in a super, super small structure like that, the tiniest bit of dust or oil can mess up your samples or molds, etc. And so what you have to do is there's basically piranha cleaning everything that you can to keep this clean. And it takes a lot of time because you have to take the day to do the cleaning and then you have to mold stuff and wait for the molds to dry. And it's a very complicated process with a lot of chemicals that can be either really dangerous or really expensive. And in the context of what happened to me was I was working on these molds and I had done the cleaning which uses some rather dangerous cleaning techniques in the form of hot piranha solution. And also, the solution we have to use to make these is actually incredibly expensive. I think a little bottle like this big is a few hundred dollars, so that should sort of put into context that these samples that we create are pretty valuable. And we had done about halfway through the process, and this was a week's worth of work. So we had been working on this one sample for a whole week, and at the end of this, you have to very, very carefully peel it up out of this specially made uh, ABS 3D printed mold that I had made. And the issue with it is it's a multi-material layer, and one of the layers is glass, and the other is a polymer. I was sitting there spending the good part of 20 minutes with all my little tweezers and knives and all trying to peel up this sample and it broke. I completely destroyed the sample. I managed to shatter the glass in it and rip through the polymer and basically just completely throw away a week's worth of work and I was extremely frustrated. And I kind of want to tell the story because that's just stuff that happens in the lab. Stuff breaks. You will break glassware at some point. You'll ruin samples that take a week's worth of time to make. There's just stuff that goes wrong in science. That's what science is all about. It's about trial and error and creating these experiments. And the thing about working in a research lab is you're the one who creates these procedures. There's no little booklet telling you what to do. And so there's going to be a lot of times where the procedures you make go wrong. There's no scientist out there who has just gotten every single procedure and research experiment that they've set up exactly right on the first try. And that's kind of just the moral of the story for a lot of people who are afraid to get into research. And maybe if you're already in research, it's just a fun, relatable story about something that happened in lab. And this is going to be a bit of a shorter video, but I do think it's something a lot of people need to hear that even me, who has a lot of experience in this lab, I work on my own at this point because I've been working in it long enough, will still mess up. There are PhD students, there are chemists who have been working in industry for decades and they'll still mess up these things in lab. That's just how lab works. So with that, that's sort of the end of the video. 
If you work in a lab or have done any research, please comment down below. I really want to hear what sort of lab mishaps you guys have been through. I know people have been through a lot worse and a lot more dangerous or funny situations, so I'd love to hear it down below. And I'll see you guys next time.